Welcome to Coach Fix Football Academy. I'm Coach Fick. Today we're going to talk about the top three qualities coaches look for in athletes. All right, the top three qualities coaches look for in athletes. This is a huge topic. Uh, I get a lot of athletes asking questions in regards to this. You know, what is a coach looking for in me? And uh, what we did was we actually surveyed some coaches online, got some awesome feedback, and here's what we compiled is the top three things that coaches are looking for as far as qualities that an athlete has. Um, and we're looking past just the athletic ability. Okay, obviously, uh, as a coach, you want someone who can play the position you want, you know, in the game of football, but there are things called intangibles, which are those qualities that coaches are looking for. So the three top ones, in no specific order, um, were as follows. Attitude, work ethic, and also the third one, coachability. I'm sure you've heard of these three before, but let's go into depth about what these coaches were really talking about in regards to these qualities. So when we talk about attitude, we're talking about having a positive attitude whenever you're on the field, off the field, uh, someone that your teammates can turn to and look to as an example. We're also talking about attitude in regards to um, just how you're behaving. You know, how are you behaving in the school setting? Everybody thinks it's just about the field. That's not the case anymore. I mean, the school setting and community setting are both huge. And how's your attitude there? And then also with attitude, another key word we heard was confidence. Don't be cocky. If you're cocky, it's a little overwhelming and can deter people from wanting to follow you as a leader. What they look for is the attitude of confidence. Like, hey, I'm going to make the play. Coach, I'll make this play. You know, having that positive attitude, having that confidence that you're going to deliver when the time's needed. A great example of that is look at Michael Jordan. If you, um, or for some of you who might not know who Michael Jordan is, hopefully you do. But Michael Jordan is one of the greatest athletes, probably the most confident athlete I have witnessed in, um, in the field of basketball. And then also from football, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes. Perfect examples of people that have that confident attitude that know they can get the job done. Secondly, work ethic. So what we're talking about with work, with work ethic is something that I learned a long time ago, not even in football camp, but actually at a baseball camp, was run everywhere. That's where we came up with no slack, just hustle. Uh, it was a coach by the name of Jerry Matulovic. He had a championship baseball camp, won multiple championships at the baseball level, and he said, coaches aren't watching what you're doing in the middle, because everybody runs in the middle, but who runs on that first step? all the way to the last step. That's work ethic. What else we look at with work ethic? Who's the first one to the field? Who's the last one leaving the field? Who's putting in the extra time to perfect that craft, to get better? Who's asking the questions? Who's in the weight room doing that extra rep or staying after maybe an extra five, 10 minutes to get more work in? And that's what we talk about work ethic, not the work that you have to do when you're supposed to, but the work that you do when no one's watching. But here's the kicker, they're still watching. And then the third thing is coachability. I know you've heard this plenty of times before, everyone says it, I know me as a coach, I've said it, hey, be coachable. What does that really mean? That means when your coach is talking to you, coaching you, teaching you, you're actively listening. You're not standing there staring off into space, you're engaging in the conversation with him. Ask questions back. Learn. You have a coach for a reason. They've been there before. They've done it before. Okay? So we have to be coachable from the standpoint of listening, active listening, okay? And then applying. It's one thing just to hear what your coach says, but then to show them that you are truly coachable, you've got to apply what they tell you as soon as possible. If a coach tells you how to run a slant, get up there and do it right. But if you're not sure, you always ask the question because that is being coachable as well. So the top three qualities that we've seen coaches are looking for in their athletes, attitude, work ethic, and coachability. Work on those intangibles and it will elevate your game to an even higher level. As always, 
Thanks so much for checking out Coach Fix Football Academy. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe below. Leave us a comment of some videos that you'd like us to create for you to help you out in any way. And remember, in everything you do, no slack, just hustle.